Hey guys, here's a quick demo of Ubuntu. I recently got my SD card, which is in the micro SD card slot here. Um, and that's because we board in action, connected to a USB hub and a mouse and a keyboard. And yeah, installed Ubuntu 10.04, I believe, and the performance is more than satisfactory, actually, it's quite good. Um, I'll just show you Firefox and just give you a quick demo of some programs running. But uh, yeah, <laughs> the performance is quite good. I was expecting kind of a slow kind of experience, a bit like the Pi really. I mean, the Pi is good for what it is. It's not really though a, a computer as such. It's more for electronics projects and things like this. But this should hopefully run some of the software which the Pi can't, which it just can't handle. So um, yeah. So. Um, yeah, so that's the Firefox browser, which seems to handle web quite well. I mean, I'm, I can see myself using this in the future. Slightly faster than the Android browser. Um, I'll just show you Office, which comes with this uh, image, which I've downloaded from the internet. I'll show you uh, Open uh, Open Office presentation. You can actually do Office work off of this, which again, it's is fast enough. So. Yeah, quite happy with it really. Um, I mean, considering it's a board which runs off what less than five watts of power, um, I think I can definitely see myself using it um, for a torrent server, uh, not a torrent server, a torrent downloader. Um, much better than leaving your uh, big computer on. I'll also probably, since it's Ubuntu and you can access a load of the uh, programs. Um, I'll also use um, it as a print server, as we don't have a wireless printer in the house, so that would also be good. I'm just going to very, very quickly, <laughs> quickest browse presentation ever, just put Gooseberry board next, and create. This current Ubuntu image does not have graphics acceleration as the Mali drivers haven't yet been av made available to the public. Um, they are working on that though, so in the next few months you can expect graphics acceleration. Um, but even still, I mean, I'll show you a presentation here. It can handle animation reasonably well, without, even without graphics acceleration. You won't be able to watch videos or anything like that, or HD content in the Ubuntu um, OS. Androids really for that as it does have graphics acceleration. Um, also another limitation of Ubuntu currently is it doesn't have sound. So um, yeah, but again, work with the community, it's likely to come about. Um, I'm just going to show you it installing GIMP I think. So one second, my battery is low so if this cuts I'm very sorry. go. Yes. And yeah, just copes with it absolutely fine. I may cut if it takes too long, so bear with. <laughs> or if the battery goes. I'll give you another screenshot of the board. And there you go. You got the power adapter here. The mini HDMI, remember guys, if you're buying this board, and there should be 10 boards in the next, uh, with, coming within two weeks, so they're going to be available very soon, um, you need to buy a mini HDMI cable, as we don't have a full-size HDMI port on the board. Also, it only has a micro USB port, so you will need to buy a micro USB port to standard USB port adapter. Um, it'll look like a cable like this, really and that expands it to a full USB 2.0 port which I've connected to a USB hub so I can use my keyboard and my mouse reasonably well and yeah get the desktop experience so it's gonna take a while so uh, are we there? no <laughs> uh, I will cut so bear with uh, see you soon Hi guys, back again, just close terminal. Okay, GIMP has installed. Uh, that will be under graphics, I'd assume. Here we go. GIMP Imager Editor. Let's see how quickly this copes with loading GIMP. I mean, the 
I remember on the Raspberry Pi the videos I've seen them. It's extremely slow. <laughs> so I wouldn't expect it to. Is that done? <laughs> oh, it's done. Oh, okay, it's quite fast. I have to say, I was not expecting this. I bought a £3 SD card. Sorry for the flashing, I hope no one epileptic is watching. Um, <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting this because the write speed was something like 5 megabytes per second, which is rather slow for a micro SD card. So I thought everything would be rather sluggish because you need to buy class 6 or class 10, class 4 even, and class 10 uh, cards. So, And this is without graphics acceleration. So. <laughs> It is performing rather admirably, really. Um, it's quite, it's quite usable, really. Um, you can just bring it around or use it as a computer just to use the larger uh, TV. One sec, though, um, guys, just to let you know, I have had trouble booting Ubuntu. This can only seem to occur this issue if you plug in. A HDMI cable into the third or fourth port of your TV. Always plug it into the first one and Ubuntu should boot fine. It really is a matter of just writing to the SD card and um, plugging in and once you plug it in it's it's set to boot automatically from the micro SD card so whenever you want to boot Ubuntu you put the micro SD card in with Ubuntu installed and whenever you want to boot Android you just uh, boot the board without the Ubuntu micro SD card. So thanks for watching guys. Um, when the boards do become available I will provide download links and tutorials in how to do this. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Uh, visit the site and learn more. <laughs> Goodbye.